Boston, uh, just, I mean, uh, get some play time. Do you anticipate being here for a while? Uh, I don't know, I really don't know what's going to happen. All I know is I'm here now, I'm just going to work my butt out. Location is key. How happy were you to be back in Austin? Well, I mean, it definitely eases the process here, it eases the situation, I kind of love the city, so I was, I was not going to be happy right here. Alright, playing your first game here with the Toros, how'd you feel tonight? Uh, you know, just getting used to, you know, my teammates, obviously, my coach and what he wants to do, so it was a little slow start, but uh, I feel like I uh, got the first one out of the way, and uh, tomorrow I'll come back even stronger. And how do you feel the chemistry with the other guys? Oh, uh, well, I mean, like I said, uh, yesterday... I mean, or uh, uh, today, yesterday was my first practice. Uh, so, I mean, this just gets normal a little bit now. So, I'll, I'll get as the more games come up and whatnot, I'll get to know a little bit. Okay, well, you got the Texans coming up. You got Texas Legends coming up tomorrow night. Uh, anything you want to say to the fans to uh, have them come out to the game? Uh, I just I just want you guys to let you guys know. I mean, we're in here, we're working our butts off. Just come in here, try to show some support for us, and we won't let you down. All right, thanks a lot, Corey. All right. Another big game tonight by Justin Dentman. How do you feel? I'm feeling really good. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling like it's your birthday. Yeah. <laughs> well, I tell you, there's there's something about you. It seems like in every close game, you manage to ice it from the free throw line. What, what's going through your mind in those situations? Um, don't miss a free throw. Uh, you know, if I do miss one, miss the second. Don't miss the first one because you know, the first one really carries you over to the second. Yeah. Well, you got a big game tomorrow night against the Legends. Uh, what are your thoughts? My thoughts are just like any other game. Go in there and try to get a win. Try to go out there and you know, lead my team uh, defensively as well as offensively and get a win. All right. Well, any message for the Facebook fans for tomorrow night? Uh, just stay tuned. Uh, it's going to be a, a tough matchup. And let's get a win. Good, good. All right. Well, thank you, Justin. Right. Well, first off, nice little nail biter tonight. How do you feel about the game? Well, I'm very excited about the win. Yeah. Um, I'm not excited about uh, a lot of things the way we played. I thought we started the game off with the wrong mentality. Um, you know, we, I didn't feel like we wanted to touch anybody on the defensive end. It's kind of like you guys do it every one. I don't, I don't want to touch it. And, uh, and, and to our credit, as the game went on, we got a little better toughness about us. But um, I was just, I, was, I just, I'm very happy we won the game because we did not play. The typical Toros game. Yeah. Well, you definitely had uh, a couple of new roster additions this week. Uh, you got an old face back, and you got a new guy back. Uh, it's kind of the uh, theme of the season, right? <laughs> <laughs> how's uh, how's everything going with the chemistry and stuff? Well, I think that's part of a little bit why we're a little bit out of sorts uh, mm -hmm. tonight. Uh, you know, those two major guys come in. They're both NBA guys. I guess in the NBA, Corey's in the NBA, and, yeah. and um, you know, we've got a, a core group here. Well, we try to have a core group here, and then. The, we fill things off a little bit, so uh, hopefully we'll be better tomorrow. But I mean, those are two really good players, and uh, we're excited to have him. Corey had some good moments tonight, had some bad moments tonight. Um, I thought Lance Thomas was terrific. How about the speed of Corey? Oh, he's like a little blur out there, isn't he? Yeah. Um, and uh, you know, he just got to learn now how to use it a little bit better. Um, you know, I thought he, he, he didn't use it at times when he should have, and I thought at times he tried to use it when he should have. But you also got to remember, he should be a sophomore in college. He really he didn't play much pro basketball. I mean, he got what he, how many minutes did he get tonight? He got 31 minutes tonight. So I guess the most minutes he's played combined in pro basketball. So it'll be a process for him, but that's also why he's here. Right? There's a lot of talent, obviously, on this team. And the roster from the beginning of the season now, it's loaded. I mean, it, you know, from a talent standpoint, it looks like you're, you've got all the potential to make something happen. I agree. I just hope we do. <laughs> well, you know, one thing I noticed tonight is that it looked like the guys were having fun out there. It really did look like there at times that they were getting in rhythm at times and in spurts. No, I agree. You know, I just talked to them about how uh, you know, we're still trying to figure it out. You know, and um, you know, what we've lost is we got a lot of Chiefs now and not a lot of Indians. I mean, and that's fine. We want to have this type of team because we want to be really good and have a chance. But it's just going to take, that's what we got yesterday in practice. It's going to take me a while as a coach to figure out the rotations. You know, we're all going to be in this together trying to figure it out. I asked for some patience. And uh, and I don't know if I gave them a, a crutch tonight. Maybe I did just talking about that because <laughs> we, we did not have the same type of uh, passion about being a good team that we've had to this point in the season. And, um, 
you know, so I, I guess it's probably on me trying to figure out the, uh, the rotations a little bit better and, and how we get guys to, you know, play well together. Because we, as you said, we have, we have very good talent. Um, but at the other day, I've seen a lot of teams that have a lot of great talent um, that can't put it together and can't win. How, this team can score in bunches. This one minute you're down by 10, and the next team you're up yeah. by four in less than two minutes. That's the exciting thing about this group. <laughs> um, yeah, when we when we get to the right spot, we talk a lot about uh, being accountable and getting to the right spot, and both offensively and defensively. It's amazing when we do those simple things that we're really, really good. And uh, there, there are a lot of times tonight we couldn't get to the right spot, whether it's offensively or defensively, and uh, – I mean, that, that's what's unacceptable. My, I understand guys trying to feel out, and we had some, we had a lot of plays tonight that I felt like we're just not used to each other just yet. But at the same time, you still know where to get on offense, and you still know where you're supposed to be on defense. And uh, that, that to me is the concerning thing. But I agree. When we get it together, oh, we're good. Another thing is that this is not the first time you guys have been down double digits, came back, and, and put it together. It just seems like, you know, it, at no point have I seen them, throughout the, the changes in the roster, it seems like there's a core group that really, being down doesn't matter. No, I agree. You know, we, 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 uh, we preach that, but more importantly, and I, I get on them sometimes and I can get mad at them sometimes, but I think we've got a group of tough guys. And, uh, you know, they, they're not going to lay down. Because we were bad tonight. We could lay down. First thing I told the locker room is I congratulated them on winning when you're not good. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> And I think our toughness, you know, helped us out. But like I said, I, I agree with you. We, we don't quit. We don't lay down. But oh, we got to get better tomorrow. Tomorrow's a new day. How long do you anticipate Corey being here in Austin? You know, I, I think that they want him to be here for a, a stretch. You know, we have starting tonight. We have seven days and twelve days, and uh, I think they would like for him because once again, this is great for Corey. I mean, but we wouldn't lose the game tonight. It's great for Corey. Because he's got to learn the ups and downs of pro basketball. But at the same time, they also want Gary Neal to stay with us through this weekend. You know, in a rehab, sit, man who breaks his hand, and bang, he's right back. So uh, I have no idea. If he's here tomorrow, we'll coach him up and try to make him better. Any chance of Monty rehabbing here in Austin? He looked like a good coach if he played for me. <laughs> um, I have no idea. I know I, I, you know, I think that's, what, six, eight weeks away. So uh, I'd be all for it. <laughs> All right, well, tomorrow, tomorrow night we got uh, the Texas Legends. Any thoughts about the game tomorrow night? It'll be a tough game. I know they played in Tulsa tonight, and I think they got beat. So they'll come down here with a little blood, of blood in their eye. And also, we've, uh, you know, we've handled them three straight times. So you know that you know, they got anything to them, they're going to want to beat us. So they may, have, they may have lost tonight just so they can rest up to beat us tomorrow. So <laughs> I, hope, uh, I hope we'll be better tomorrow night. And uh, I hope our fans come out and support us because – like I said, even though I'm a little disappointed about tonight, we still have a really good group. And, and uh, at the end of the day, we still have the best record in the league, right? So I guess I should uh, relax a little bit. <laughs> Congratulations. Thanks, Coach. All right, guys. Thanks. Austin Toro, share the experience.